if there's a war we need to get into, all of us is the war against perception. There is a perception on a couple of things where Ugandans say, that's for rich people. I don't participate into that, you know. So the question is, have insurance companies considered putting in place different products of insurance against fire uh, to take care of different classes of people regarding in, in relation to their incomes? Or shall we keep the perception? You know, with those people say, I cannot insure my ABC because I do not have enough money. Yeah, before I can get into that, I, first of all, I really get concerned about uh, the perception of people because uh, we cannot keep on doing the same, same things over and over and ex expect different results. Absolutely. You, you can't say, as it was in the beginning, uh, is now, be. ever shall be, world without <laughs> end, amen. We, we have to change the way we look at things. Absolutely. Insurance is very important. Mm -hmm. Insurance is there to protect you, and uh, we can demonstrate that. Yeah. And to give you a peace of mind as you are doing your business and when you're in your homestead, during your retirement, ETC. So we've got um, uh, several classes of, uh, uh, of, 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 of uh, fire products. I can call them fire products. I mentioned the issue of uh, fire standard. Uh, we also mentioned um, fire industrial. Uh, we mentioned domestic pack package, industrial oris, which he has just mentioned. All those are, but uh, it depends on the sum insured anyway, because now when it comes to different levels of income, for you, maybe your house is, uh, I don't know how much it is, but sorry. If, if on average it is 200 million, not 300 million, because the average um, household, uh, value of a household in Kampala here uh, is around 300 million, you can insure that for fire standard only. Let's say you are not exposed to flooding and so on and aircraft damage, uh, the planes normally don't pass over your house, so you say, let me just go for fire alone because that's a big risk. My children are now staying at home, they are using candles, they are using uh, electrical appliances, anything can happen. So with that, you just get the 0.15% multiply times the 300 million, and you see the figure which comes out. It's a very minimal figure that can be afforded. Look at it on a monthly basis. Look at it on a daily basis. I try to compute, and the figure comes to like, uh, I think, 700 shillings per day. That's what you need for insurance to cover fire. And uh, if your house is, for, for instance, 10 billion, 20 billion, that means that now the sum insured increases, the exposure increases, and you'll have to pay more premium. So it's still the same class, but variation in the amount of money that you pay because of the exposure that you have. Mm.